Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Alika Manova Yoga. Today I have an exciting class prepared for you. It's going to be coffee cup with heat intervals in it that are targeting the body and the ending session instead of the uh, usual ending session I'll try to pack in some stretches as well but I want to do for the ending some Pilates body stuff uh, the intervals are going to be very much body related so you will need for today's class you will need um, you can prepare uh, uh, bands the stretch bands that most of you have or ankle weights and you can also do it without if you do it without, you can prepare a few water bottles for the areas where we would hold the ankle weights. We're going to place the ankle weights at the end just to give you a little prep, kind of mental prep. Um, and we are going to focus on cardio, some stretching interlaced within and a lot of mm, very dynamic body intervals. I have worked it down to a science and I feel that I've been in relatively good shape for how little I work out. Now, my goal is not to work out that little, but my life just kind of is that way now. And because movement and optimizing movement and envisioning movement and thinking about movement in different and new ways is my um, passion. I have figured out moves that just in five minutes, it just kind of does things that typically would take you an hour at the gym. To, uh, to achieve those results. Now, nothing wrong with longer workouts, and I have many of them, but also those shorter ones uh, are absolutely a saver, or, or a savior <laughs> at times when we need them. So here is the whole, um, the whole var variation of things, and let's begin, and let's flow with love, strength, and ease. <laughs> Starting with shoulder rows, and I want you to introduce, as you slow down the shoulder rows and as you engage your feet, I want you to introduce the platysma stretch. I'm gonna try to keep the platysma stretch in everything. So we're going to bring the shoulders up, 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 back, and tip the chin to the right and back, and you can push your jaw forward. So chin forward, jaw forward bottom lip slightly you can slightly up push it up and then on the other side so you're going to feel the stretch from here down into here stretching that neck that pulls forward and can lead to deterioration of the cervical And you can do all. It helps you engage the top of the platysma to where when the shoulders are back, bottom of the platysma, you give it a little more stretch. A few more. Feels like howling wolf. <laughs> All right, great. Hands behind the head and press your elbows back. Press your chin up. Hands over the head, side stretch, look up. Opposite side. And we're going to bring the hands behind us, palms of the hands facing each other. Look over the left shoulder. And again, O with your lips or kiss with your lips. O is your safest bet as far as wrinkles. Opposite. And again. Great. Let's bring the left hand 
behind the head, grab your, grab your um, jaw and stretch it here. And you can glide the platysma down over the clavicle, opposite. Stretch it, you can have it first your hand back and give it a stretch that feels good all the way into here, into the chest, neck. And you can glide it down as well. All right, great. From here, we're gonna move into a little bit of fluid, getting to the obliques. Stretch up, stretch up into the side. Stretch up, stretch up, up, up. Really stretch the sides of the body up, up. Oof. Excellent. So you should feel alive and awakened all through the upper body. From, from here into here, all of this should have improved circulation. And now we inhale, reach up and exhale, forward fold. So you can keep your knees slightly bent here, as long as you're feeling the stretch along the hamstrings. Wrap your wrist around the elbows and you can swing side to side here. Lift your toes to activate the feet further. Lift your arches. Left hand down. Left knee bends, right leg straight, right arm up. And reach over the head and look towards your hand. That's another stretch here for the neck. And change. And reach. And lower down. From here, you want to point your toes out. Again, activate your feet. Your feet, you want them to be real active. A big mistake in yoga and fitness is partially or improperly using the feet because that loads the knees improperly. So now, with activating the feet, you can shift side to side and breathe. And this is stretching the groin as well. And round the back, reach forward. So now you're gonna stretch your neck, your back. Again, groin. Arch the back yoga, yogic squat or neutral spine here, you could arch or neutral, whatever feels stretchy to the front. Let's bring the right ear over the right shoulder and really stretch that left side. Gently but deeply, opposite. Lengthen the neck. All right, so here we're going to straighten the legs and lower into squat. Straighten the legs, lower into squat. Straighten, lower. Straighten, lower.
straighten and lift your, as you're in a forward bend, a bend, lift your toes, lift your arches, activate the feet, lower down and come on to the tippy toes and straighten. Lift your toes, lower down, tippy toes. Straighten a few more, make it smooth, like a smooth move. You should feel your whole body functioning from the face to the tippy toes. We've warmed up everything. Ooh, great. Let's reach over to the right side. Right hand sweeps forward and back. Open here, open chest. You can clasp behind. And change, clasp behind. I have a whole series on platysma, so if you want to go deeper into the platysma, stretches there in the face, face massages, face yoga program. Great. All right, time for plank. So now the hips should be awake, hamstrings awake, everything awake, toes awake, feet awake. Chaturanga, up, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. See if you can activate the feet here with the toe lift. Pressing into all four corners of each foot and into each base of each toe. Only the toes lift, but not the base of the toes. Same thing with your hands. You want to press into the base of each and every finger and softly plant the fingers down. When we activate the hands properly, we activate the shoulders, the elbows, the spine properly. Inhale the right leg up and here we're going to bend both knees and press up, bend, press up, bend, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> 10, open the hip, Woo. hold here a stretch, so your right hip opens, L right knee lifts and you let your toes dip behind you, drop behind you, you get a stretch through the, the obliques, this affects the internal organs, opens up your breathing, And step it behind. Wild thing. Side plank. And here you're going to grab your ankle behind. Gorgeous. From here, bring your ankle in front of your foot, in front of you, and guide it to the front. Now before we move on, linger here for a moment on the outer edges of the feet, but flex your toes, open the toes. I want proper foot alignment even here. All right, great. Step into low lunge with a twist. Right arm up, forward. Right hand down. And here we're gonna bend both knees. Take the left leg up into half moon. Standing half moon, extended half moon. Uttita Ardha Chandrasana.
and grab your ankle behind you here. I'm gonna stretch you out in all directions. <laughs> Woo! Feel in the groin, the hip flexor, the, um, oh, beautiful. The quadriceps, psoas, IT band, everything is stretching here in a beautiful way. Gorgeous. All right, time for warrior two. Step it back, make your way back. Reverse your warrior, right arm up, left arm down the left leg. Windmill down, plank. Chaturanga, up dog, use all 10 toes to press into your mat. And Chaturanga, a gorgeous down dog. Activate the fingers, activate the hands. They should be active the entire practice, but here you touch up on your baseline activity activation so you don't have to think about your feet the entire time when you activate them during classes in certain moments it begins to to become your alignment your second nature you begin to use your feet properly in class then outside of class and so forth but if you're not 100%, 100% of the time, that's also okay. As long as you do understand foot alignment and you practice it periodically in the class, um, then that in my book is um, just what we want, perfection in its imperfect way. Which is what all perfection is. <laughs> There's no other perfection other than imperfect perfections. <sighs> All right, let's take the left leg up. Level the hips and we're gonna bend both knees. Press up, one, two. Activating the glutes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and open the hip here, left leg on top of the right, stretch. You should feel your entire pelvic region stretching, so from the soles to the high band, hip flexors, groin area, obliques, core, Bend the knee, let the heel drop behind you and just really feel your body releasing tension. A major area of tension, of course, is the groin and stomach area. Another major area of tension is back, spine, chest, neck, face. Of course, every area can hold tension. but we have almost archetypal areas that store almost archetypal type of trauma or thought pattern and step it behind while thing stretch again activate the feet side plank with your clasp Ankle clasp. And bring it forward. Step it through. Here, roll onto the outer edges of the feet, but flex the feet and activate the toes. And you're going to gently move. Mm 
All right, step it into proper low lunge, right hand down, left arm up twist. Reach ahead, look, look ahead. And let's bring the left hand down, bend the left knee as you shift here. So when you open the right, right hip from closed into open, you're gonna keep the knee bent and then open. For proper transition. Proper mechanics. Standing half moon. And clasp behind. And step it back into warrior two. Reverse it. Straighten your legs, feet wide apart, outer edges of the feet parallel to each other, spread the toes open, lift the arches, clasp behind, look lower. And let's take plie with the clasp and you can pose here and look side to side. <sighs> activate the toes, activate the feet. Lift your toes, lift the arches. Feel the outer inner edges of the feet. <sighs> Great. <sighs> Interval for your uh, posture, booty, and I'm going to throw in biceps, upper body. You are going to grab little water bottles, or your ideally, you're in, you have the ankle weights, and step the right foot forward. Left leg steps behind, just about a couple, one to two feet apart somewhat of a staggered or a staggered squat position. Distribute the weight evenly. Lift your toes, activate the arches. This is short foot, a little bit modified. Drop and pull. Press your toes into the ground, again, lifting the arches. Great, this is activating your Spine, cervical spine, pelvis, etc. All right, we are going to do a runner's, your classic runner's stretch. Pull the toes back, do a triceps hold. Then come out and dip into a squat. So this is your staggered squat, you're gonna Place most of the weight onto the front. And as you come up, tray servers. You're gonna hold your weight, palms up, serve your tray. And we're gonna do a few more of the staggered squats. Load your front leg, serve your tray. Keep the feet active especially the front foot. <sighs> 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 
in just a few reps you can have a really <laughs> built booty the glutes can be really built strong lifted etc Great. Wiggle your way into the other side. Runners with the triceps hold. Runner stretch or runner hamstring stretch. Really feel the, the stretch. Let's activate the feet. Short foot. Step in front of each other, left foot leading. Lift your toes. Drop. Drop and really clasp your mat. And let's go. Squat to table servers. Really feel this move. This is a very precise squat, so it should be, should be done with awareness in the body. Not moving empty through the movements. Conscious awareness, embodiment. Somatic awareness, embodiment. right foot forward and here we're going to touch the I'll, I'll show it slowly staggered touch left hand right foot leading left hand down the other one does a triceps extension this is for your brain as I always say believe it or not and as you come up lift your toes now I'm including again the boring short foot exercise which is for activating the feet within a weighted exercise. It requires you to be smart in the most important ways. Aware of your body, aware of the moment, aware of your body parts, um, somatically aware, which makes you extremely connected to the inner voice, however, whatever the connection of your soul is to your higher self, divine God, etc. When we create that connection and we, when we sharpen our tool and empty the mind, we create a cleaner pathway. So even though we're working on the body, um, there is there is a lot there that develops um, the virtues, the mind, and by the mind I mean the higher mind. So lower down. Come up and uh, and lift your toes. You can also give me a shoulder exercise. Let's continue. Dip down, activate the booty. So this is a absolute booty magic. Lift and feel your toes. Drop them down. <sighs> Lift the toes. Drop them down. Now I have done this in short and isolated way. So in the classes label on my website, physical therapy, you're gonna just find short foot alone. And you can practice that. Especially if you have any issues with your pelvis, hips, neck, knees, shoulders, <laughs> everything. Are you ready for the other side? 
same thing, set yourself up and you're going to touch down, triceps back, come up, lift your toes, lift your weights, lower down, clasp the mat and continue. If you don't get every part of the move, you need to wrap, that's fine. We're not aiming at perfection, we're aiming at improvement. and activate the glutes while you're at it. One more. All right, a bit of a, a bit of a faster interval. Right foot forward, and we're going to touch down, hop up. You can do it with the weights as well. Same thing. I want your, I want you to activate the triceps as you, uh, the glutes. Sorry, as you do that. Two, three, four. Five, eight, nine, ten, and hop to change. One, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it back into lunge jumps. One, two, three, four. Time for the rest of the booty segment. Ankle weights, straps, or nothing. Nothing is acceptable. You will flex more. And we'll begin onto the left hip. Here we're going to line the, line the right hip on top of the left, maybe slightly forward. And we're going to do heel to knee, heel to knee, flex your both feet. From here, we're going to extend and bring the knee in. Extend, toe slightly down, extend. So heel slightly up, bring it in. Heel slightly up, touch your glutes to make sure you know it's, what's working. Great, side plank, and you're gonna <sighs> clamshell, clamshell it. So you're going to drop down, come up, open the knees, flex. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ooh, <clears throat> ten. <laughs> it was good. And for the next one, you're going to just clamshell it with a little 
extra one kick two three four oh five six <laughs> Ten. All right, that was something else. Opposite side. Same thing. Start with tipping the hip slightly forward. Left hip on top of the right. And we're gonna go knee to heel. One, four, And now we're going to extend, toes down, bring in, extend, and make sure that the heel is on top, toes are slightly down. Four, five. Ooh, that's the already fatigued booty from the other side. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. For the next one, we're gonna do side plank, clamshell. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Side plank, clamshell, or um, half clamshell half kick one two four five six almost there seven eight nine and ten all right onto the forearms Extend the right leg and we're going to bring the knee in, press back, knee out, press out. And, and again, knee in, press back, knee in, press out. One time back, one time to the side. Couple more. I'm really feeling it. Let's do one more if you can. I'm not, I, at this point I forget how heavy my weights are. Probably three pounds, two and a half maybe. Each could be more. If I remember, I'll weigh them and I'll post it in the details. <sighs> Opposite side. So, knee in, press up. Knee in, out. And the next one is a reset. And again, knee in, press up. Knee in, press out. And reset one. And again, knee in, press up. Knee in, press out. And try to keep the tension in the glutes. You wanna really build, we're building, we're building the side. We, the lifting the glutes happens with, with the lunges we did. So here we're kind of rounding up the muscles. Reset, and again, up out, reset, up, out, reset, up, 
out, reset, up, out, reset, up, out, up, out, great. Let's do a burnout. Take the right leg up and just pose here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty. Opposite side, thirty. Take the ankle weights off. That was a good burn. Uh, a good burn. I have a variety of ankle weight classes. So there is more. More poses and less really. Here you are going to do pleasant stretch. Side to side, bring your hands behind you. And just side to side. Lay down onto your belly, open the arms out, and let's take the left leg to the right hand, change. 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 And sit onto your body. Feet about mat width apart. Flex your feet, heels on the ground, they don't move. Look behind, drop your head behind. The hip comes off on one side, change, Full spinal twist, forward fold here, with the legs apart, coming up, right ankle on top of the left knee, flex your feet, forward fold. hands behind you, bend your left leg, come up, hold, tabletop with a hip opener, and change, flex, forward fold, hold. Tabletop with a hip opener, Flex. From here, keep that alignment of the feet. You're going to roll onto your right side and lay down and open the left arm up. So now your legs should have dropped to your right. If they're not, just drop them to your right. Right leg on the floor, left foot on the floor. And look away. Coming up, change. Right ankle on top of the left knee, and you're going to drop them all the way, all the way to, to your left, look over to your right. Press that knee away from you gently, and just your body is doing it. You, you don't need to push it with your hands. have the intention of pressing 
stretching that muscle here. Coming up and you're going to keep that alignment, keep the right ankle on top of the left knee and bring it in here, hand straight between the legs, grab behind your left knee, press the right knee away, hold here. Um, supine or revolving hip opener. Change. I promise to give you some stretches at the end. Breathe. Changing the sides and same alignment, same everything. Breathe into your hip. Bring the left leg over the chest. Change. Reach ahead of you here for abs. Hold it and pull. Change. change. You can suspend your leg over the floor. Change. 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 Stretch. Floor stretch. So you're going to clasp over the head, point the toes and really, really stretch. Hug your knees in, big breath in, forehead to the knees. Hold your breath and create tension as much as you can everywhere for the contrast. <sighs> and let go with the ha. And bring your awareness into the third eye. If we're all one, aspects of the same one consciousness, we're focus of attention from our perspective, from our experience, from our place in time and reality in dimensions. So if you, we view from the inside outward, the world from that focus of attention through the third eye. We experience our own perspective of reality. We see it from an internal point of view. And we get an experience of that which is experiencing, of the witness of that which is viewing, which is perceiving. So we're experiencing our perception, what we're perceiving, and we're tuning into the perceiver, that which is hidden from the conscious mind, less experienced, less, less understood, less realized. It is called the psyche, the soul, the subconscious, the unconscious, the superconscious, it has different names for its different expressions. It is the ocean of consciousness, I like to call it. And we experience aspects of it as, as it. As a part of it, but also it, fragmented it and the fragment holds the whole and the whole experiences itself. 
in fragmentation, yet ironically every fragment, each fragment is the whole moving through a grand experience into eternity really, into infinity. Stay here for a few moments, allowing yourself to flow with love, strength and ease. Namaste.